Saturday morning. I woke up at like half six this morning and gave up and got up about half seven. It's now quarter to nine. I'm dressed and ready to go and do my first clean of the weekend. I had quite a nice productive end to the week actually. I uh, went and had my blood tests redone uh, yesterday. And I also had a vintage sale. I sold something for a fiver, which is quite rare on vintage, actually. You don't usually get something sold for a fiver. They usually haggle you down, but someone bought something for a fiver. And in the evening, I sold that ceramic teapot kettle thing on eBay. I'd listed it at the minimum auction price and just included a make an offer. And I sold it for a fiver. I know that if you bought it in a shop, it'd be worth more than that. But on eBay, there were so many of them. So many different ones. And they were all, like, all prices between, I think, uh, like a f eight pounds and 30 quid. And I just wanted it gone. So I had them pay the postage. So they've ended up paying uh best part of a tether for it. This is the problem. You think you sell something for a fiver and it's really cheap, but the person at the other end has to pay the postage. So something that I only made a fiver on, it's cost them a tanner. This is the problem with the whole online thing is that postage is so expensive. So I've used a uh, parcel to go to get the postage and the postage came in really cheap for that thing. Um, I think it was £3.52 for track delivery. Uh, parcel to go are actually really good if you're looking for a cheaper alternative to the post office go on parcel to go and you'll put you put in the weight and the, the value and all that sort of thing it'll give you a range of all the different delivery companies and I tend to go between Yodel and Every and I know that people complain about a lot of these delivery services aren't very good Touchwood I've never had a problem um, so yeah £3.52 for track delivery and that will be on its way later today. I'm going to go and do my clean. I'm going to come back, have lunch, and then I'll go down to the news agents and send that. So, a nice, busy start to the weekend, which is always nice. I thought I'd show you my new acquisition. It's nothing fancy. It's a grey hoodie. Uh, one of the trends in my town is people throwing away their clothes in the street. And <laughs> if something looks useful, I will pick it up. I can't help it. I am definitely a skip diver. <laughs> something looks like it can have a second life, I'll pick it up and see what I can do with it. So this hoodie I picked up a few days ago. Someone had dropped it. I say dropped it, I think they threw it away, because as it turns out, the zip is on its way out at the bottom. Um, yeah, the bottom's broken where it slots into the... See, it's gone there. And it didn't have a, 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 a tie that runs through the hood. I've replaced that with one off of a hoodie that I've got that's damaged that needs to probably go now. And... I've bought a new zip on eBay for £2.30. Normally I have zips, there's like a little bit of a mark on it there, but just as a bumming around hoodie, this is great. Um, I've been on the lookout for a new hoodie for quite a while actually. I have two that are wearable. Um, this is one of them and I tend to use, I tend to use them more for now going and doing the cleaning work because all my hoodies and my trackies and stuff like that I don't really, I left over from my gym days and I have lots of gym wear that I never wear because I don't go to the gym and I've still not got back into the whole exercising outside thing. So, um, I've it's most of it's gravitated into being stuff that I wear for gardening and cleaning really and a lot of it's really old and tatty. These I have two of these, um, these tops, I've got one in yellow as well, and I've got holes in it, and I've had these at least 15 years. I think they were from New Look. So I'm waiting for the new zip to turn up, and I mean, I've picked up all sorts of things. I've got several new jumpers, thanks to stuff that people have dropped in the street, some really nice little jumpers. Um, I've picked up uh, 
uh, joggers, a couple of hoodies, a coat that I sold on Vinted, um, <laughs> the stuff that people just either drop in a drunken moment or because it tends to be around the pub that stuff gets dropped so either drunk people dropping their clothes on the way home or like this they've just thrown it because the zip's busted and no one ever considers getting stuff fixed. We do have um, a fixing um, shop in town um, but I think people would rather go and buy a new one for five times the price than get it repaired so I have bought this new zip for £2.30 when that turns up so I take out the old zip these are really easy to replace you just take out the stitching take out the old zip put the new zip in and you're done so and I quite like this it's a nice dark grey so I like that because I haven't got a dark grey one so that's that but the weirdest stuff gets dropped in the street or people like just dump stuff like I've some of the shelving that I've got in my flat that I've made myself has come from wood that people have just discarded on the street because they can't be bothered to deal with it properly and I acquire stuff and I will use stuff if it's uh, if I think that it has the chance for a second life and I can see how I can use it so I did that shelf unit that I made in my bathroom last year and I have I've put mid-level shelves up in some of my rooms in my kitchen and in my studio so that I have a mid-level shelf that runs along the middle framework and that's all from wood that people have just lobbed in the street. Um, I have a saw, I always keep a saw handy because you never know when you might pick up something that's really useful. Can't help it. The weirdest stuff that people lob in the street. Um, so that's that. Oh, there's an update. Um, when I came back from dropping off my vintage package uh, my vintage package at the news agents yesterday so today's sunday yesterday is saturday um we have a laundrette in town which shut down during the pandemic and i went past and totally refurbished it's been sitting there empty for like three and a half four years and it's been completely refurbished looks really swanky and new we have a laundrette in town now but i've had a look at their prices because uh, I was thinking, oh, maybe I could just take the duvets and, and the pillows in there. And it's definitely going to cost a lot more than taking it over to those self-serve ones at the um, um, at the petrol station. So I'm going to stick to that. I haven't worked out when I'm going to do that yet. There's just so much coming up um, because I'm still waiting to know if I've passed for the medical work. And um, there's other little things going on. And I just want to be able to set aside a day where I can get it over there, get it in, let it wash, go over there again, get it into the tumble dryer, make sure that it's all done without having to like dash back because the cycle's ended and I'm not around. So I'm going to wait and see um, how everything goes with the medical work and that will probably help decide. Um, other things that are being kind of thrown to the side at the moment is my car camping trip to Keswick. Again, I need to wait to find out what happens with the medical work. That is more important because if I get that, that'll be my quite a big income stream for this year. And if I get that, that pretty much means that I've worked out all my income for 2024 because everything else is fairly predictable. So that's the big chunk of money that I need to prioritise at the moment. Uh, still waiting to hear about that. I haven't been for the next screening yet, um, so I'm just going to wait and see what happens with that. I'll keep you posted. Uh, what else is going on? I think that's it at the moment. Um, things have fallen back into routine. It's not not terribly interesting at the moment, but um, hey, normal life generally isn't. But it's Sunday morning. We're going off to clean. Hopefully, there will be a Sunday Morrison's yellow sticker haul for you coming up shortly. You never know. Um, oh, and I have a bit of a Morrison's gift card left as well, so I might not even have to pay for it. So I've got to go over there in about an hour, uh, and then I'll go and get my whatever I can get in the supermarket, and then I'll go and do my clean, come back, and then hopefully I'll have stuff to show you. So catch you in a bit. Right, so I'm back from cleaning and Morrison's. 
my Morrison's bag here. This Sunday was a good Sunday. I spent £9.47. I had £3.68 left on my Morrison's gift card. So that meant I had £5.79 to pay. And I'm really pleased with what I've got. I don't know what the saving is. I'll put that up there at the end so you can see. So I'm going to show you what I got. Really good on the vegetables front. So, greens. These were 79p, down to 59p. I put these in water and that'll help them keep. I also got a cauliflower, which was £1.9. £1.9 9 for a cauliflower, and they're not even big cauliflowers. Down to 44p, so that's really good. You can eat the leaves as well as the hearts. Um, I also got some more potatoes. This is a 2k bag. Was £2.20, now 66p. That's Morrison's best. There weren't many potatoes on yellow sticker. It was just those ones. Uh, what else? Cherry tomatoes, two of those. They were £1.29, down to 64p. Two of those. Uh, <laughs> more broccoli. See, broccoli season's coming. Uh, 79p, down to 59p. I've got two of those. I've got loads of broccoli in the freezer. That's almost like rainy day funds. So I'm going to keep these out, I should think, and start using these and coleslaw man i love coleslaw so this was one pound 65 this was morrison's best coleslaw down to 66p so that's a nice little addition uh bagels see bread sucker for bagels right we have one from the new york bay uh the new york a bakery company these are red onion and chive. They were £1.89 down to 56p. And these are Warburton's bagels. They're the sliced ones, cinnamon and raisin. They were £1.89, also down to 56p. So those will go in the freezer for rainy days. Yogurt. Two natural yogurt. These were a pound each. These are Morrison's. They were a pound each, down to 30p. So that helps with the whole dessert thing that's going on. And my best deal of the day, baking margarine. This stuff's expensive now. This is a, I uh, can't read it. They've put the stickers over the top size. Huh. Hold on. It's probably a 2k, I should imagine. Oh no, it's a 1k. These are 1k tubs. These were £3.25 down to 98p. So I bought three, now I know this stuff has used by dates on, but I've had margarine baking margarine in my fridge sometimes for months and it's been absolutely fine so I'm not going to worry about that so that is my Sunday haul lots of vegetables really really good dessert stuff um, I pulled some one of my just roll pastry purchases out the freezer yesterday and I am thinking about opening one of those jars of mincemeat um, that I've got in my store. And I'm thinking about making um, almost like mince pies, but like a mince pie roll. I just I haven't made anything really since I got back. Um, at Christmas, my mum had bought me like a mini steamed Christmas pudding to take home with me. And I had that as a dessert last night because I have literally nothing to eat as a dessert. Christmas pudding in April just is so good. I love Christmas pudding. Mince pies, I love that whole um, what that is. I love it. So I had half of it last night with some homemade custard. I shall probably have the other half tonight but I probably am going to 
um, make this just roll uh, pastry because it's out of the freezer now so it really needs using. So um, I think I'm going to open one of those jars of mincemeat and make something out of that just so that I have something extra. And now I have the yoghurt, I could have a little bit of that on the side with it and just makes for an interesting dessert. So that's Sunday, uh, a good profitable shop that'll keep me going for quite a while.